I was just going to ask you guys, like, how, because you guys don't seem to have gone down the audience capture route. Like, you seem to have, like, I feel like I'm talking to the same person I talked to like eight years ago. Like, how have you guys avoided the trappings of that? Do you just not, um, I'm going to guess that you don't look at like the comments or your replies very often. Very no, rarely like, do I look at any our comments. Main, yeah. The only way I interact with fans is if they, um, and, and it's, <laughs> is if they join our, our, uh, our Patreon and they give us $50 a month and then they get, they join our discord. And then I literally game with them all night and like <laughs> shoot the shit with them. And the group of guys in there are awesome. Like, like I, mm-hmm. so, um, they'll, I'll, I'll sort of lean on them for like, if they thought a show was good or not um and sycophants that they are they love everyone they love everyone <laughs> they've never had a complaint and they better not because i'll stand <laughs> I'll, I'll the they know i will uh, yeah. i'm liberal with the band hammer no yeah, like, but, but I, I really... it's the opposite though like, like i feel like they'll be like what happened there and i'm like look we didn't we didn't book that guy i don't know who booked that guy we he didn't know he was up. gonna have a fried brain from the mushrooms we didn't know <laughs> just yeah. Him on. yeah i like that guy. did you have somebody audience, come on that was yeah. tripping balls yeah he wasn't at the yeah. time but he had some some we he had a guest was, or he probably was i'm so, so this guy <laughs> touted himself as some sort of a shaman per se and and basically his story was that he had had this awful experience where his wife who was pregnant with his unborn child died in a car accident that he caused and it ruined him to the extent where he so he sought out psychedelics um more and more potent doses of them to sort of get over that trauma and my take is that while doing that, he fried his brain. And so then he's got this new wife and he's told us, he told us that he's like, so at this point in my life, my wife was saying, I'm going to murder the children. I'm going to take the gun. I have the gun and I'm going to murder the children. So then I went on one of my retreats to the Dominican Republic and did mushrooms with some guys. And when we got back, I talked to her and I had a whole new frame of mind. I'm I'm paraphrasing, but <laughs> it was basically it. that. Jeez. And so and and so I'm like I'm doing this when he's telling. I'm like, <laughs> whoa, your wife said she was going to murder the children, and she had the means, which means she's thought about this a good bit. Mm-hmm. Went and gotten the gun. She has the gun, yeah. and you went to another country to do drugs. I love drugs <laughs> and travel's <laughs> fun, but and I hate kids. But my take is that you're a piece of shit, dude. How do you leave your kids behind with a murderer per- who's mm-hmm. telling like 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 are you insane? I didn't go you that just, hard hard. You just went I there? Went, yeah. I went a little bit softer than that and it devolved quickly. Um mm-hmm. I, I may have been rude to him. You know, I, I smoke mm-hmm. every show and I don't it really remember fun. these things. Too I well, enjoyed it. But I think I was pretty pretty mean to him. And he just one in every 30, 50 guests. Kyle will decide. I have had enough of this guy. I'm not interested in his return, so I'm going to lay it down. This <laughs> yeah. is Sometimes they'll just be fucking liars. Like there's one guy. And look, I hate a fake badass. I'm not a badass. Mm. I don't want to get in a fight. I I'm not good at it. I wouldn't be good at it if I tried. I'm not going to pretend like I like I like I will be or or, or want to rip this fuck or did that go? Yeah, I beat the shit out of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I smoke you. See. <laughs> Now you see, like, arm up. you can't you know, just keep it back. I got the long arms, so he's got reach. Uh, I yeah. just snap yeah. those in half yeah. with my jujitsu training. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, much UFC I watch, I'm a real tough guy. I watch the UFC. I'm not, yeah. <laughs> there are guys who are like what I'm like pretending to be, right? They're those douchebags, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but but we had a guy on who was like, tout, I can't remember what kind of badass he was claiming he'd done, but he was, he was like, Yeah, my my stepdad stabbed me, and and I was like, Oh, you stabbed me. It's like, I ran away off into the woods, sewed it up myself. And I, I think I just went, no, you didn't. It was like that. <laughs> it was like in uh, um, Billy Madison when uh, when he's like, me and her got it on. And Adam said, was like, no, you <laughs> yeah, didn't. Yeah. yeah, but this guy I knew, him and her did the thing. He's like, no, they didn't. Yeah, but you can imagine what it'd be like if they did. Huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, that, That's a solid guy, 30 year reference right there. Yeah. Or what? 25 Nailed year it. reference. Yeah. 8% of our audience, according to my made up statistics, got that one. I've seen that. Um, movie. It's a great movie. He's, so, so he's claiming that he got stabbed and that he stitched himself. And I'm like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Show me the scar. Show me, show me, bro. Show me where you got stabbed with a kitchen knife and pulled it out of your body and sewed it up yourself. Cause you fucking didn't. You fucking didn't. <laughs> yeah. And that was, that was absurd. But yeah, the the mushroom one that's happened, Kyle will do that from time to time. But as far as like the audience uh, retainer or whatever that was called, audience training. Audience like, capture, capture. Audience capture. Yeah. Like it was probably 
five, six years ago now. And it was actually a, a Sam Hyde clip that I saw that like changed my perspective on it. Cause I used to like read comments a lot more forums, all that. And I saw a video from him that was like him talking about that. And obviously he's a big figure, a lot of people talking about him. And he was like, a lot of everyone knows how negative it is and bad for your psyche to like read bad things about yourself online. If you're a content guy, like that's negative. But he also made the point of like, it's also almost as sinister and bad to read positive things about yourself. Like the whole idea of like sitting there reading about yourself is going to breed in you like a sort of unintended narcissism in one way yep. or the other that is going to change you yeah. as a person. In and a by, the same rationale, in by the same rationale, time. by the same rationale that you would say, don't read that negative stuff. They don't know you. Don't read that positive stuff. They don't know exactly. you. Yeah. Dude. Dude. They don't know how full of shit you were when you said that thing or, or that you were being charitable just because you felt like you had to or like they don't know the pressures that you're under or like or, or any of that. Yeah, what do you stepped away and Kyle and <laughs> I was I like got into place. a little bit of a tiff. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what happened? I, I, he, I was like, I, was, so I, I remember I was looking up at the top left where it shows the recording time and I'm like. God damn it, Kyle, we're like 46 minutes in and you guys are fighting about something. He, uh, he didn't think I... He, no, I don't he's, he's done. What, what, he didn't you, think I believed him for some reason yeah. about that story. About that. Yeah, that was out. I didn't, I didn't think... So, so, you know, he told the story to us while you were gone about mm -hmm. uh, the, the lady threatening to kill the children and she had the gun in the house hidden. And mm -hmm. I thought she was the one who went to him for treatment. And then he's like, no, 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 the husband. I'm like, wait, so... He came to you years later and sought treatment or like, like after the fact, like, no, he left the kids there with the death threat hanging over them and left the country and came with me. And I was shocked by that, like happening. And he took that as me thinking he was lying. But right. The more but what he actually said happened that, is you thought that the guys, I thought the man was logical. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But not that Michael was a liar. That wasn't where you No, was. I didn't think that until he brought it up three times. He was like, it's like you don't think it's true. It's like you try to see, try to poke holes in my story, and I don't. I, I, no, not at all. I want you to mm -hmm. tell me more about the situation and why that. You know, it was you surprising. That was a good idea. Surprising tell is me. that the conversation was better after the fight. Yeah, like yeah. unironically better. I am, like, like literally. Yeah. Better. You know, I don't subscribe I said some shit. to that. <laughs> Uh, Gary, <laughs> I embrace my ego, and I am the reason that he called me better. smug. And my he called me smug, and I I I I, I ticked a little. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you sit there in your chair. We're all Did you say those words? Like, yeah, you sit there in your chair, all smug, judging this. And I'm just like, you're sitting there in your fucking you chair judge. with your goddamn headphones in your nose, <laughs> 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 with your fucking smug teeth. <laughs> he seemed like a pretty sincere guy to me, and I was really yeah, yeah, did. sympathetic to his uh, his man. That guy went through the, the, one worst, of the, worst. the saddest story of all time. Like, yeah, geez, that the most traumatic thing to go through and ever like if that was pitched for the beginning depression. if that was pitched for, for like the beginning of a movie it would literally I, I was gonna make a joke when he said it early on and be like dude that is literally unbelievably sad like the, yeah. the so un it would get turned down in a writer's room for being like no one endures this level of 364 days of May pregnant yeah like <laughs> that's in that's yeah. heartbreaking. That, yeah. To and even be pregnant. able to go on and all pregnant. I wonder how long the period... Yeah, he said that. How long from the car crash to the LSD trip? Did, did we get a vibe for that period of time? Mm -mm. No. no. Oh, I thought no. maybe I... We didn't yeah. learn how often he takes it. Oh, we did. Every single day. Like, like that was so <laughs> much say that? Every single day. Well, microdose. Yeah. He, he's like, oh, I microdose, though. You know, I, like constantly microdosing is my guess. He wouldn't answer. That was funny to me. What he was like, so how many, how much you do him up? He goes on about being a sovereign citizen or something. That's not what he really <laughs> said, but something silly. And then, what, so how many times a month? Wait, hold on. I don't want to, I don't want to forget this idea. Can we book a show where we get him and that prison guy? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> and and honestly, and I want to see if we can get to where all three of us are off screen at the same time. It's just, it's just those two. And then, but we don't come back <laughs> until they break, until the crew breaks up. It's just like, I'm going to tell you this. You need to be doing LSD. 
And he's like, you know, I was stealing. I was robbing a bank once. And he's like, really? That's fascinating. How'd you rob that bank? Ah, I'm gonna. My daughter no, no, no. programs cell phones for a living, <laughs> and she's only six years old. Her name's Susan. And then the other guy she speaks can up, and he's like, I'm a. I'd like to make this movie. I, I produce movies. And, and so the, the drug guy says, that's great. You're a, produ a movie producer. What do you do? Oh, and he Jesus. goes on for like five minutes inexplicably. And the drug guy somehow understands every fucking word and just nods sagely while the... <laughs> That would be a good show. Those three together, nobody can answer a fucking question. <laughs> Look, I'm so sorry for that man's unbelievable loss. It is the saddest shit I've ever heard. Yeah. I ain't lying. Mm -hmm. I wasn't sitting here smugly judging his story. I was sitting no. here. Neither, I couldn't believe what he was telling it me. It does seem like there was a disconnect from time to time. Like we'd ask a, yeah, a direct question time. and not get a direct answer. Or he'd tell a story, we'd be like, wow. And he's like, Are you calling me a liar? No. That wasn't what I was going for at all. And and there are just these. He's like, what are you trying to get at? What are you trying to get at? What, I don't know what you want to talk about right now. I'm like, I want to talk about how that guy's wife was going to smoke him and his kids. And he, he went and did drugs in another country with you. And how, like, and at one point I kind of suggested that he might be culpable if she had killed the kids. And I saw him react to it. It was funny. <laughs> I saw his face react. He was like, Ugh. Got him a little. <sighs> Got him a little. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kyle like does not like being did. called smug. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. I wasn't being smug. I was I was trying to contain Let go of that your part ego, of Kyle. me that wants to yell, sir, something awful happened to you. I bet, just guessing here, that you sustained a head injury in that crash that killed your wife. And I bet in the years since, you've abused drugs so much daily that you have a hard time communicating um, very, very well right now. And I also think that your perception on reality is literally altered right now. So you're getting some readings off me that aren't exactly accurate. Plus, you don't know me very well. I told him I had four kids when he tried to use that against us. That he was, was like, hilarious. do you have kids, Taylor? And Taylor was like, no. Then you could never understand. Do you have kids, Kyle? And I went, four. <laughs> <laughs> My you're not going to use on me. <laughs> <laughs> we really don't know exactly how many. <laughs> I had names ready to rattle off. I was like, it's my names. wife. I was going to name them after all the dogs. I was going to use the dogs' names. Yeah. Uh, Bart, Lisa, Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> wife, uh, Morty. <laughs> the king of the hill kid. Is it Tommy? Bobby. Uh, Bobby. Yeah. Bobby, yeah. Bobby yeah. Joseph, Luann, and uh, Con. Those are my kids. Con Bobby, Jr. Joseph. That'd be funny if you like, caught he's on Vietnam, to the roof. He's Vietnamese. Like, what, are, what are your kids' names? Uh, Ross, Rachel, uh, Chandler, Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> There's two more. Uh, fucking Monica. Rudolph, Blitzen, uh, <laughs> Dasher, uh, Dancer. I, I kind of liked him, and I was certainly empathetic to his story. He just, mm. it just took a little persistence sometimes to to get him to go where I was trying to. Yeah, it's just yeah. hard with a lot of like psychedelic people to get them going in the direction you want because a huge amount of it is saying learn to accept the things you can't control that's the overwhelming majority of the it seemingly the, the core yeah. of it and a lot of it so he'll say that and it's like you can see all three of us be like yeah that's that's true like anything that helps you accept the things you can't control if you're five eight and you want to be six four you got to learn to accept that like that's that's a fact you'll be happier when you do but then it gets backfilled with so much stuff like everything everything is reality and nothing is is extant other than your uh internal human self and it's like okay well what is my internal human self if not an amalgamation of my thoughts and beliefs my 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 biggest one was he was like everything's fine there's nothing wrong with anyone. Everyone needs to understand that. And I was like, and the first part is the first step is doing drugs with me in Costa Rica. That's <laughs> like, I, I, come on. If anybody wants to join him for drugs in Costa Rica, his link is down below. Um, I, 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 I bet you'll have a hell of a time. I'm kind of tempted. Uh, Maybe your yeah, wife I mean, spotted a gun. Go. Maybe you don't know where it is. Maybe you <laughs> yeah. just learn to accept that. <laughs> just yeah. just learn to accept that. I want somebody to arrive like a. When your a gun and threatens to kill your kids, you go. <laughs> That's life. <laughs> that's I that one life throws you a curveball. Go ahead, Kyle. At what point would he not think it's a good idea to leave the country and come do drugs with him in Costa Rica? I wonder. Dear Jonathan, what or whatever his name was, Michael, was it? Michael whatever. Griswold. Michael. Dear Michael, 
My house is currently on fire. I had thoughts of calling for assistance. My children are inside. Then I realized nothing really matters. When would we head to Costa Rica? Like, like, like at what point should we actually focus on what's going on? Like, like, I, yeah. That one was a fire. It was a fire in the kitchen. The barn's burning down in the backyard. The children are about to be killed. <laughs> yeah. And then like, don't, like saying like every, like all of this stuff is nothing. It's and that meaningless. All the time. It's it's just thoughts. That's Woody. You're in your own head, and this and that is you know, it. So much of it is just internal, like just act, not even internally, externally contradictory. Where it's like everything is just you in your head, and nothing matters. But it matters deeply that you, what improve your ability to see the world in this way. And so it's your uh, your internalization of information is wrong, and that needs to be fixed. Well, that's a mechanism by which you you garner information, like saying that it doesn't make sense. Nothing's I mean, wrong. I that's why. Like I I hear how it doesn't make sense. Like it's not lost on me. But here's a guy whose like, life mission, the focus of what he has going on, seems to be inner peace. And you say accepting what you can't control. That's it, kind of. But it. it I don't know if it, I think it's accepting everything and embracing peace is what he's trying to do. And that is sort of compounded or connected to this idea of psychedelics, which are very difficult to explain. I don't know anyone who's gone on a trip and accurately tells somebody else what his experience was. Mm. You, know, the, the, you can get little elements of it, like your colors changed or, you know, one time I did mushrooms and I found campfire smoke, a little purplish and endlessly fascinating i'm a little no, fascinated by smells smoke are more first place but it was on a whole new level where mm. this smoke was just all i needed to to mm -hmm. enjoy my night um but by and large people don't describe their trips very well and yeah. that combined with this idea of accepting inner peace being so paramount was a tough message to deliver mm. it is but it's and i like i understand i guess the inner peace thing that he's trying to put forward it's just and why where there's given a weird, his background why he would be like that of course yeah yeah like 100 percent. i well, get why he like is that way and everything and why that works for him it's just what i really want to i'm sorry go ahead. oh no 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 there's nothing meaning like just telling someone like nothing none of this matters it's all meaningless and then going into how important it is to change your thinking in regard to these things is odd I, I think we need to circle back and and just realize that we're trying to pick apart the, the these barely cogent arguments arguments from someone who wasn't sober and hasn't been sober in years. You know. Oh, you think but, he yeah. was high? I, I, uh, yeah. He was smoking weed while we watched him, and he microdoses daily, so he's high on at least two drugs right then, having a conversation to, with yeah. us. That and, speaks to my lack of observation skills. <laughs> yeah, oh, you couldn't tell he was a little. No, yeah. I, I may. I, I also saw. Said, Oh, go ahead, Kyle. I'm here. I did a mean thing. I may have referenced the fact that he was outside a building and that there were birds and dogs. I was there for that. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, I was, yeah. there for that. I, I was okay. like, this situation needs a little soothing. I, 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 was looking at, I was looking at you when I said it. I wanted to see how you reacted. I knew Taylor was going to love it either way. But I to see what you, and I was like, oh, what he's trying to chill things out. He doesn't know the guy called me smug. He'd be with me if he heard that. <laughs> uh, dude, I, so I, I asked who the guest was and I came a little prepared. Like, all right, I, I knew what he was all about. I was like, should I microdose for the show? Just a thought, <laughs> yeah, just wish, to like man. join him. Taylor's join background him. would have fucked me up. What is what is happening there? You're going from purple to blue. Well, you are changing yeah, colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's one is of those it? lights that that yeah, <laughs> it, 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 it rotates from purple to pink. It's a light. It's literally not. It's just auto correcting to from it's changing colors. You're right. There's no there's no color. Oh, it's my it's uh, the PC light. That's what it is shining back yeah. there. The the under the, I did oh. not. I forgot I had that thing. Yeah. So your computer is was morphing its RGB, and that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. I thought it's probably it was, a way to turn it off. I you thought can, it was really planned. Taylor was like, you know what? For it. New me, new background. We're gonna we're gonna get special tonight. We're upping our production <laughs> quality. I'm not gonna show up on camera with a bunch of trash in the background like some loser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's so true. That's what I was doing. <laughs> as, I, as I was putting in the hours, you know, making yeah. sure that my PC was angled correctly. On that PC, show up I'm sure clothes that need to be stored. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've got a super good motherboard. I bet you've got all sorts of software that oh, could. Uh, don't even ask that. me which one I have. I don't want to get into it. 
Yeah. I, <laughs> that's what homeboy told us, right? Like, like, didn't he? He told us that they tied him down and pissed in his face. I, I would hate that. Yeah, Wait, who's they like. It was the, either our guest who was in prison, or it was like the prison, or it was a prison video that I watched. I watch a lot of that shit, so it all gets melded together. But I definitely heard a guy who was oh, talking about how he'd been like Atwood strapped down to the maybe Atwood, yeah. How he'd been? No, no, not him. It was a bald guy. It was a big bald guy. But anyway, he was talking about like, hey, they strapped me down, pissed in my face. <laughs> what are you gonna do? The jewel. Yeah, thief. What are you gonna do? Take it, I guess. I think it was. It's the jewel thief. It's the jewel thief. That's who it is. You got it. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah. That guy's also the one who was like, I wasn't even sure you heard me. I think I'm on a delay. It's a weird thing. Yeah, oh, it's a little see. delayed, definitely. Uh, he was the one who makes that prison sorry. spaghetti still yeah. using the prison techniques. Like, he doesn't even use a goddamn pot and a stove. He's got that thing that you plug into an outlet, and it's two pieces of metal um, separated by a block of wood. And the, and the wood gets wet, and the current flows between, and it all gets hot as fuck and boils a thing of water. And he's boiling those goddamn noodles. And he's making a sauce by microwaving those little shitty store pepperonis until they're crispy. Not until they're cooked, until they break into flakes when you do when you rub them between your fingers. And he's flaking that stuff over the pepperoni, and it looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, he's flaking over the, the, the noodles, I should say, the pasta. Yeah. It's um, Larry Atwood or something? Um, Larry Lawton? Maybe. I don't fucking know. Yeah, maybe Larry Lawton. That sounds right. It's yeah, I think yeah. so. Oh, we, he's the guy we had on the show, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was the one who I had a hard time having a goddamn conversation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the guy that you were, you were trying to just pull That's a deep right. to get him to answer your question. I felt yeah. like like like, like, I, like I don't read comments or anything, but I was like, man, I hope people don't blame me for this guy being a dumbass. Because <laughs> because when I watch his long form videos, <laughs> somebody has gotten helped him get his thoughts together, and I thought he could carry on a conversation, but I was wrong, and I apologize to anybody who like didn't enjoy listening to our conversation with him i just legitimately at, sitting here i was thinking like people are gonna blame me for this i bet people are gonna <laughs> blame me for this dumbass talk what is he talking about this boomer doesn't know how to put a phone oh, dude I, i'm looking at the comments <laughs> on on that pka right now the the top one well obviously the top one is larry saying thank you guys so much for having me having a great time nice of him the next one is i think his prison sentence was the last sentence that larry finished uh, <laughs> this, this <laughs> oh, entire Christ. 600 upvotes on that. This entire episode is like asking what a producer does. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Larry has immunity to Woody's uh, shush ability. <laughs> <He just pops. laughs> Kyle, good. <laughs> Kyle, quote, yes, Larry, but how do we rob the jewelry store, Myers? <laughs> 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 it's, I'm trying so hard. Like, I felt like like I, I love can, it when Kyle gets frustrated. <laughs> yeah, because like I can feel it, when like it's not good gonna be good to listen to. I'm like I'm like, man, if I were listening to this motherfucker, I would be ready. I'd be like fast forwarding right now, and I hate that. I want to do a good job. I want it to be funny, and I want him to answer my fucking question. <laughs> like like you're you're a bank robber, so tell me how to rob a fucking bank or jewelry store robber. That's what he'd say. He'd be like. He'd be like, actually, yeah, I robbed jewelry stores. You don't even know what you're talking about. And it's like, dude, you still haven't mm -hmm. told me how to rob that fucking store. I could make it up better than you can tell it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I can make it up better than you can tell it. I could make up how I used to make believe rob jewelry stores, and it'd be so much better than your... God, you... I think he might have a neurological thing going on, or he's just a shit storyteller. Either way, I, I, I apologize for him. Because <laughs> when you watch his videos... He's got it together. It's almost yeah, like there's somebody with prep. cue cards he's... behind him. No, no, it's on track, on track. I bet there's like a fucking railroad track drawn on the fucking pace board so he knows to stay on track and he's got little cars for his <laughs> topics. I mean, as it Fuck. went on, it went from frustrating to like I was like enjoying watching you get like frustrated with him. So I think a lot of the audience <laughs> saw that too, where it's like, I, I, like near like the, the hour three, I was actively like, I hope like he just continues to not tell this story. <laughs> like well. I was getting like, like <laughs> a bunch of losers are wasting their lives. Get a job, kiss a girl, do and, something. And, and like like, like, like I, he doesn't have any. He's like Jesse Ventura in a way. Like like I, it reminded me of that interview he did, where like he thinks he's a tough guy, 
and that he's got our like tough guy he that he has t- enough tough guy credential that he's a tough guy here but he's he doesn't he doesn't like like, like and i'm not saying that i'm tougher than this guy this guy did a bunch of time in prison he was a yeah. tough guy one time maybe but he's not now i'm not afraid of you i'm i'm, I'm I, I don't sh- dude get your shit together like like you don't have enough car blanche here to like, just just run on endlessly and not make your goddamn point <laughs> <laughs> and, and and I think he like threatened one of us at one point, and it was like any one of us will whoop your old ass, dude. Like like, what are you talking? Oh, about? I think I remember. Yeah, he called me fat, and then I said he was fatter than I was, and that and he is. You know, you better come at me quick because you're old as shit. Uh, yeah, time's running out. Yeah, time's running. Out. <laughs> the last few minutes of that show. Yeah, was fun. Yeah, our bout's got an expiration date. Yeah, yeah. So you <laughs> might want to might want to hurry it up. Um, no, 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 nobody's nobody. Yeah, that that didn't like that. He was trying to be like tough guy Larry or something like that. Like, no, dude. Like, like we all yeah. get the the same amount of microphone time here. No, no we need to put on air. Just tell the fun. <laughs> tell tell the good story. I, and, and look, I still don't know how to rob a fucking jewelry store to this day. No, and, I could never. I couldn't rob it at all. I would. I'd get halfway through and then don't start th- start thinking about something else. Because <laughs> here's what I want to know. Because <laughs> I still don't. And I know we asked him this, and and if he did answer it, he didn't answer it well enough for us to know to know to this day. Because the main thing has always been: if you got jewels, what do you do with them? How do you fence them? Because yeah. I don't know. Like if I still for example, don't know. If I stole a television, I'd go to a pawn shop and get ripped off because I don't have a TV place to take it to. Sure, if I knew a guy who had an uh, electronics store, oh man, now I could probably get two thirds value or something like that. I'm gonna get one tenth or something at a pawn shop. The same thing's true of these jewels. First of all, they're a huge red flag, right? Because the the pawn shop can't move diamonds either. <laughs> so so I so when you ask somebody like Larry who's moved diamonds, yeah, man, how do you move diamonds? Well, let me tell you about my beard. It used to be a lot thicker. Back in the day, I had a nice thick Dago beard. <laughs> what what the fuck are you talking about? Do y'all have a smartphone? <laughs> yeah, you all have a smartphone. Am I the only one smelling toast? <laughs> Is anyone Wait, on what? the call tasting? He's having a stroke. He's yeah. smelling, <laughs> smelling, he's smelling toast. He's burnt toast. Oh, okay, okay. Burnt toast. <laughs> or gra- I think you smell grass flipping sometimes, maybe too. It's, it's a few yeah, things. Like that. It's a few things when your brain's dying. Um, <laughs> when your brain uh, is actively dying. Yeah, it's a shame. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember know. that. Yeah, Larry was like amazed when when Zach put that picture of the Brinks truck up. Remember where we talked about like a Brinks truck, and then Zach brought the photo up, and he was like, "Oh, whoa, what's going on here?" <laughs> <laughs> that was that like, was so. He funny. thought you had hacked his computer and put a Brinks truck on it. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, you in you're in my server putting a Brinks truck up. Is that a real Brinks truck of money? Is that theft? Yeah. Hey, like, <laughs> Next time we have him on, we'll we'll be. More oh, I'm sure we'll he'll come back. <laughs> you know who I want? On? Will he not come back because he's not uh, that long to live, or because he doesn't? We talk shit on him. If we have him I, back, I, I want I want to have a real jewel thief on to like answer the questions. I want him to like fail in answering questions, and then like some someone who can can be like, "That's really interesting, Larry." Well, what I did was I went to my Iranian friend. Okay, I knew that he had some cousins overseas, and look, mm-hmm. I don't know where that money went, but the men wanted diamonds. Okay, that's all I knew. And hey, maybe we financed terror, maybe we didn't. We got rich doing it. I'll tell you that. Like, like, I want that. See, I want that, 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 that would guy. be enough of an answer. I'd be like, I ran. Okay, I, I've heard CD things. Just, just mm-hmm. make something up mm-hmm. if you don't have an answer. Yeah, always. So, that's what this I, I want, Yeah. What did you it's think about? Horrific. What did you think of uh, Larry Lawton? Uh, I thought he was. Uh, he had we had to keep him on the rails because he he likes to uh, he likes to go on tangents, so to speak. I, I I was like getting a lot of like internal laughing when I could tell you really wanted him to answer about the jewel, and you're like, just walk us through a jewel thief, and then he starts <laughs> talking about his phone and all of and like he just absolutely boomered out and started talking about his phone and how he can't program the apps and you're like yeah. okay what about the jewels <laughs> like, <laughs> like he literally did that he, he literally went on this tangent about how young people's minds work better than old people's minds and the example he gives is how his his granddaughter or something can just pick up a fucking cell phone and use it and he can't and he, he called it programming a cell phone, yeah. which I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure means 
signing into Gmail <laughs> and, and like transferring contact. No, it's That's like swordfish. Sword. All the, the lines are coming <laughs> down on the screen and Halle Berry's blowing you. <laughs> yeah. Programming a cell phone. She can just do it. And I'm like, it walks you through. It holds your hand. Welcome. <laughs> What's your name? My name's, my name's fucking telephone. Genius. Welcome. Then, <laughs> it's so true. Then, They're made to be used by the dumbest people alive. <laughs> like, and look, I get it. You spent a decade in prison, like during the time mm -hmm. when those things were coming out. So, but, 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 like, I, I don't, I don't, I got no problem with his like inability to pro program a of cell course. phone. I'm like, all right, all right, man. Tell me. I realized like an hour in, hour twenty in. And I don't know how to rob a jewelry store yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I had specifically been like, hey, man, hey, hey, I know you're in prison. I know all about that. And what I mean is I can pull like the parts I want out of you mm -hmm. later. I don't know anything about jewel thievery. And I'm like, this is perfect. I know this is like chapter and verse, literally mm -hmm. chapter and verse of his book. Like, I'm sure it starts off jewel thievery. What I'm asking for is like, start, start chapter five, dude. Tell me yeah. about the scariest jewel thief thievery you've <laughs> ever done. The one that went wrong. And he's yeah. and he can't even zero in on that. He's like, in the beginning, <laughs> <laughs> I was born. <laughs> a it man, was a windy day. <laughs> <laughs> the day was July. No, no, no. Yes, July. <laughs> July. <laughs> <laughs> Please tell me how to... And he was like, I, I am. I'm telling you how. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, no, you're not. No, you're not. T tell me how. <laughs> it's to like one of those like <laughs> those hokey movies where like Eisenhower had just taken office and the American spirit had never been higher. It was a <laughs> warm day in July. <laughs> My parents had eaten barbecue. Well, we just landed days. the dirigible and <laughs> headed into town. <laughs> <laughs> dirigible. <laughs> Dude, we just, they decided to celebrate to by going to an all white establishment. <laughs> And the worst part about it is, like, he had those stories. Like, we yeah. eventually got kind of those stories out of there. But he's just not a, he's not a great storyteller. What I wanted to do is be like, all right, so this one time, it was me, Bobby the Nose, Billy Pickles, and Julie. <laughs> I was fucking Julie, but Bobby the Nose didn't know that. And that's going to come <laughs> into play later. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's how you start a fucking story. Yeah. Like already, you're like, fuck. I hope he tells me why they call him Bobby the Nose. <laughs> yeah, I want to learn more about Tommy Bobby the Nose because he had this schnoz, and the <laughs> bitches, his girlfriend said it was longer than his dick, and she'd ride that thing. So we <laughs> call him. Like already, you want more of this, right? Like, and he can't do that for him. He's just like, I don't know. It was like Florida, and there we were, and you know the sun. Every day you got to get up and you got to make sure the sun's going to come from the same side because you want that on that side. Mm -hmm. Dude, don't talk to me about reflections and glass. Tell me about <laughs> Bobby the nose and the time that somebody got shot. Tell me how what he yelled. What, tell me if, if he bit down on some fucking a stick or something while you pulled a bullet the out of an ass. I, I did like the detail <sighs> about the, the reflection, though, because I wouldn't have thought about that when I robbing. Did. Yeah, I, it was just like we didn't. He's clearly got a ton of stories. We just had to try and keep him on the rails because when you rob that many jewelry stores, I'm well, sure they bleed together a bit. He need. I bet his book is good. I bet yeah. his book is good. I hope he sends us those copies. He won't. Yeah, I'll read it. Um, but uh, but but he he needs someone to like sit there and be like, all right, so who are you with? Bobby the Nose. Like like he needs that guy to like mm -hmm. like take this story and put it in the right order and make it compelling. Because I what I was trying to follow his story, but sometimes I get a little lost because he'd go off on a tangent. And I don't want to hear about his tangent, so I'd zone out, and then he'd, he'd circle back around to rob him the store, and be like, "Oh shit, we're back at the store." <laughs> we're back at the store because <laughs> I didn't care about his like Doctor Scholl's prescription or whatever he was talking about. You know, like he'd be like, "Yeah, you got to wear comfortable shoes when you rob a store." These shoes I got, ah, these are not comfortable shoes. You see, <laughs> look at the bottom of my shoe, how it's wearing back here on the heel. That means I'm, li dude. <laughs> that's caused by excessive walking <laughs> tell me how to rob a jewelry store now the fundamentals of a shoe foot protection <laughs> that's part one I stole the shoes <laughs> no I, I liked him uh, I liked he was him a good too. guest he, had, he has a lot of life experience it's just uh, he's He's got a lot of thoughts and a lot of stories to tell. And so he'll easily start talking about one robbery and then it reminds him of something else and he goes in that direction. And I think 
as it went on, we did a good job kind of reining it in and being like, wait, let's get back to the fucking jewels. The he jewels are wanting to, he kept wanting to get philosophical and, and he should have, his goal should be to be biographical because I don't care about his thoughts and feelings about things. I think about, I want to hear about the events. I need, I want you to tell me a story. And I, I couldn't get him to tell me a goddamn story that was super frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you were aggravated. <laughs> I was so frustrated. I was like, dude, you tell me the goddamn story. I still don't know. Here we are sitting here. And I, what's step one? What's step one? How do you pick a jewelry store? Something to do with the sun. No. No, number one, uh, you would, it has to be like a strip mall, he said, right? It's got to have a bunch of parking. Yeah. Yeah. But like that much I, I could have guessed though, because I'm not going to go rob got, like mountaintop jewelers in Aspen or something like a maniac. If I that's know, a real man. thing, I, I wish I I wish he told us a good uh, story about that. But I, I did I do enjoy his YouTube channel. Uh, mm -hmm. On there, it seems like someone's reining him in or something. He he stays pretty focused. But even there, you know, he'll drift away. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't care as much when he's not on my clock. Yeah, I understand. I I think next time we have him on, maybe. It'll be I mean, more, you're the uh, one that threatened him. I don't know. Did I? Yeah. Oh, at the end when he, <laughs> at the end when he called me fat. That was just a little <laughs> light banter. <laughs> that, was, that was that was fun though. Yeah, Calling yeah. me fat. Oh, I, I, by the, the way, gall. <laughs> by the way, like like uh, I I saw a short of his that said something about his like physique. He is in tremendously bad shape. I mean, I guess he is like sixty or seventy years old. So yeah, he's sixty one. Like. You get a pass fair, after 60. Fair to play. Fair shape. play. Yeah. Woody well, old Woody's going to look he's... tremendous at 61. Guaranteed. Unless the cancer takes him. No, he already he already vanquished it. We don't know that for sure. Well, yeah, I feel like he would have mentioned it if he didn't know. Well, he doesn't know yet. We'll wait for those test results to come back. Oh, yeah. I guess they don't tell you right away. See, I'm on the outs here. You're the resident expert of the, what is it, so something carcinoma? Oh, I wanted oh, to say, yeah. I forgot about this. Um, um, my, all my friends were asking, like, hey, what did what did Larry Lawton say that y'all had to remove from the show? What did, what did he say? Uh, and I was like, oh, Larry, the world-famous jewel thief and famous felon who did 11 years in federal prison chose to threaten a public figure <laughs> randomly <laughs> for some reason with <laughs> physical violence. Now, I know he did it in a joking way, but... All of us thought that wasn't too chill. <laughs> so as soon thought, as the show ended, I was like, you got to get rid of this. <laughs> Zach, you cannot have that and so for, for, for Larry's Christ. sake and for, you know, our sake, I suppose, well, I yeah. don't want to be attached to, to any nonsense. Like, Jesus, keep no. it zip, bro. Um, uh, I, you know, it was it was borderline anyway. It, it, he didn't go crazy or anything. I've heard some people say crazy, crazy stuff from the left that's scary that you would think would be a crime. It wasn't near that, but it was like, ah, I'd like to blah, 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 yada, yada, yada to old Judy, 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 And it was like, Whoa, we can't say that. That's not yeah. That he was, all. he was kind of fantasizing about murdering a public figure that you've heard of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but we just can't yeah. get down like that. Too woke. <laughs> <laughs> We're too woke. I got everybody in my Ugh. DMs telling me I'm woke now, that I'm blue pilled because I never got on the Andrew Tate train. Oh. <laughs> Larry, um, <laughs> like, like oh, if Larry was my idea, so if you liked him, you're welcome. And if you hated him, like like most of my friends did, I'm sorry. Um, uh, oh, your friends was, didn't it, like him? I thought it was no. A, great a bunch show. of people told me they didn't like him. Um, oh, but uh, a, lot, a lot of people liked the episode. I thought it, it, we got like good, good stories I, out of him and stuff. Good, because I, I I don't know. My my, my friends d didn't like Larry. I'll take a peek and see if it was highly rated or poorly rated compared yeah. to our other shows. He's just yeah. uh, uh, he's a, like? he's a guy that you got to keep on the rails because he I, likes to he likes to tell ancillary like uh, rabbit trail stories while he's going. God, I was getting so frustrated. I, I felt like you guys were judging me. Like Kyle brought this guy on who can't even keep his fucking wits about him long enough to tell us what a jewel thief does. <laughs> I, I wanted because I, I I was like, <sighs> Larry, tell him what it's like. God damn it! I said you were good. I've been telling him. <laughs> Dude, it's so funny from that perspective. It's like that that Looney Tune thing when you, when when the, you want the frog to dance. 
But but every time you show him the frog, it lays there dead. Yeah. <laughs> they turn their back. He's like, "Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. I'm like, do the dance, goddamn it, dude!" I love that having him on. One, I thought the show was great. I, yeah, I, I looked at the time. ratings; it was pretty typical for our, for our last like five or ten, and we'd be right in the middle. Um, I brought on the second worst guest PKA has ever had. That Who's surfer that? dude from New Jersey. Do you remember him? I may have blanked him out. I'm I'm sorry, dude. He was just. Like almost an obstinately bad guest. There was a dude in the background who was more entertaining than oh, he was. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And ben who, Gravy. Ben Gravy. Who, who was the worst, the worst guest? I wasn't there for that episode, but I'm told Boss Nasty was the worst guest PK. I don't know who had. that is. He was a professional I no gamer. Idea. I think you were on that episode, but I wasn't there for some reason. It was one I don't of the few I missed. The week before last. Yeah. Touche. I'm gonna watch, so, I'm gonna watch it. I want to. I want to know how low the bar goes, dude. Ben Gravy, he, like we'd ask him questions, and he like didn't want to be associated with oh, it. Oh, he, he didn't want to like get down. And who was roommate... in a cab? Who was in a cab on a fucking cell phone? Who was that? Oh, that was a sixty days in guy, right? The Nate. Nat- that, fuck that guy. No, that was <laughs> right. That guy. That's my. That, so the, Nate- the better question is the ones who made us the maddest. And like, 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 I'll get, I get, mm. I, he won't say anything, but, but I, sometimes they've been so shitty before this. Sh- if you ever see me kind of being hot with somebody like right out of the gate, it's because <laughs> we've been talking to this guy for 30, 45 minutes and he's already like gotten under my collar and I've already decided you're, a piece <laughs> of shit. you're not a good idea for a guest. And if I were the fucking king of the world, I would have said, Hey, wait a goddamn minute. Hey, you get the fuck out of here and hung up on you. And we'd have just went without you. <laughs> Is like, that how you felt that about way. the bagel dude? Oh no! I liked having him there to fuck with. I liked with. him too. Yeah. Like I yeah. wanted to fuck with him because he needed it because he was just a piece of shit midget bully. Like, R.I.P. Uh, the guy was Nate's did he, friend. Did the stroke the finally take in. his little heart? Oh yeah, he's six inches under. Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, he is uh, dead though. Oh, d- Zach says Cat Gun was bad. I thought that was a fun episode. I thought yeah, that we I- got like some fun jokes about the. If I recall, like making fun of her for her stupid purchase with the RC thing, yeah, yeah. yeah. because she she framed it initially as though it was like a track for like uh, it's not a bad guess. It's a for bad like real four wheelers and stuff, if I remember. And then when we find out it was RC, it's like, wait, what? You just ruined your yard like for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought that was stupid. I don't know, it, but but look, yeah. look, it, it, there's frivolous spending and there's frivolous spending, right? If you spent fifteen thousand mm-hmm. dollars on this thing, who fucking cares? Yeah, if right? that's what she like, likes, like, let her like, have money. at it. But but if well, you spent like one point five million dollars on it, I'm going to be asking like, oh, so, so when did the when does the when do the crowds arrive? Because this is a <laughs> business here it, now, right? Dude. So the question I framed it a little more artfully than this, but it was yeah. something to the effect of. Hey, you're like a 32 year old titty streamer. What are you doing for the future? <laughs> right? Because <laughs> this was before <laughs> titty streamers were millionaires. Right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, what are they she was like a baseball player in relaxing. the 60s. Like, She's <laughs> like, well, I have a skid steer and I put a RC a remote controlled track in my backyard. And it was like, this is the worst investment ever. Yeah. <laughs> that, I, like, was... like I, I, there was the one part where Larry was talking about. Again, trying to get him to do the jewel thief story. Like, like mm. tell me about the break it down. And he got caught on this like side trail. It was like in Fallout when you're trying to get the main quest done, and some guy comes up, wants you to get some green paint. And you're like, I guess it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> but he was he was like, he was like, I was talking, I was talking to these kids, and I told them, you know, kids today they're smarter than we are <laughs> in a different kind of way. My granddaughter, I tell you, she can take a cell phone right out of the box and just program it right like <laughs> and, I, and i'm like she can program us like j- keep in mind she's not jailbreaking her fucking galaxy and like right. like, like, like putting, no, she, making it run literally like, like apple Chrome. software or some or hardware or something like that she's literally putting his contacts in a goddamn cell phone <laughs> and connecting to the wi-fi that's what he's bragging about his tech techno uh. daughter and what i want to say is like i don't care Back to the rubies. Because <laughs> emeralds, I hear emeralds are the more valuable than diamonds. Why didn't you get the emeralds? What is it? God damn it. It was an Apple cell phone. Was, and they say they're intuitive, but I'm going to tell you six hours with that thing. 
<laughs> no idea what I did to it. My daughter, How though, fixed it right away. Pro <laughs> we programmed it. Something. She hacked it. 60 something. Oh, God. I was just like, God damn it. Tell me what it's like to rob a jewelry store. Do you smack him in the face? You ever fucking kneecap one? Do you punch him with your left or you hit him with the gun? But like, like, tell me that. Tell me about Prickly Pete and like, 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 like the mm -hmm. fence that, that like did you wrong. And Prison you, stories. Tell me a goddamn story. I you ever heard that uh, that saying, like, <laughs> if you're not writing about the most, uh, is this the most exciting part of your character's life? Like when you're writing a book and it's, uh, and, and if you say no, then why aren't you writing about that? Yeah. And this dude's just like, I'm going to tell you about how I brought Let me tell you about Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I no. am rage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of a news junkie. So it was interesting to me that he testified in front of Congress. And I tried to get him to tell me how he testified in front of Congress and what that experience was like. Then he tells me how his friend's kid needed to be scared straight and we never got to Congress. Let me tell like, you, like, like, and he's so bad at that. That's such a cool, I'd have been like, oh, let me tell you, Woody. I'm not the kind of guy that likes showing up those big marble buildings, first of all. So when they called me, I was, I was a little hesitant. I go in there and there he... I, this place is huge and there's Mitch McConnell and there's this guy and that guy. And I'm down here looking at him and these guys want to hear from me. And I think, Larry, you've climbed out of the gutter somehow and you've made it. And like, like, that's what I want. Tell me a fucking story. Yeah. Tell me what they asked you and how and what that. <laughs> tell me. What, I want you to say something. I want you to make up some. I tell you what, I've been scared in prison. Nothing scarier than looking up at that beady eyed senator who wants to know what's what. Mm. <laughs> say that I'll, yeah. I'll fucking nod along and yeah. smile and I won't talk shit about you the next week <laughs> <laughs> some people are just terrible at telling a narrative though like some people are just born storytellers and some people are just useless I, true, I've seen I, him tell stories on his on his show and I think what he's what he's got is maybe his book in front of him and I bet you know yeah. he had a ghostwriter who drug those stories out of him put them in the right order made them right and then it's almost like sure. he's like reading his life story from his biography sometimes, I guess. But God damn, I wish he brought a book that night. Hmm. <laughs> Time to well, maybe we'll get the book. And I hope he doesn't come it. at me with the iron, right? Yeah, it's going to make you wrinkle <laughs> no, free. Not. That was my joke. Y'all gave it to him. <laughs> no, did I give it to him? I don't know. <laughs> I made him wrong. My no, I, oh, is it time to quit? Free. I can't do it anymore. <laughs>
we usually will text beforehand and be like, who's the guest? And Chiz was like, yeah, she's in the Dick Masterson universe. Were you like a, a, a girl? <laughs> I was on. I was like, yeah, ah, we're wrecking our streak. <laughs> I saw her. Right. And she obviously vibed girl. But I'm like, I've been fooled before. <laughs> yeah. You're like, we've had some judgment. hot guys on before. I'm not going <laughs> to believe until that's yeah, like, I, let's get I, Finn back on. I did that with my dad so many times. I would like show him like a picture of some sexy mom on his show. I'm like, check this out. He's like, nice. I'm like, so I was born a boy. And he's like, uh, so now I show him actual hot women. I'm like, he's like, get this shit out of my face. Get this gay shit out of here. And I'm like, that's ah, a woman. You don't even know pussy. You don't know pussy anymore. It's hard to know now. Again, <laughs> gaslighting your dad with, with trans people online. That's a great bit. I'm going to trapping, <laughs> trapping my dad. Check yeah, it out. I, I don't know. I, I found the first hour with her to be just dreadful. Like I wanted to kill myself. But sometime around hour three, when we found out uh, about the pee porn, I perked back up and I was interested in that. Frankly, I found the pee porn hour to be just hilarious. When she Who's told us about porn? the giant, she did. She piss has porn. an OnlyFans where, and she's super kink friendly. There doesn't seem to be a kink that. Yeah, she, I was gonna say just because you have an OnlyFans doesn't mean you get pissed on, you know? Yeah, it's, no, she, she has does a though. one just for pee yeah, content. She had because two not all her fans, fans like pee content, so she, you know. Uh, she kind of compartmentalizes that. it. Compartmentalize. Yeah. That's a better word. And uh, yeah, so she's got a couple only fans, I guess. And a yeah. fans. Oh, league. you guys gotta have like a like a. Is that a, a women's month or something in the during the year? This you, is, you know what's funny is you like, gotta have only women. Since since we had her on last week, I have gotten multiple like at mentions on Twitter from other OnlyFans girls, being like, "I want to come on the show." I want to come on the show. I, I want to. It's like, ah, uh, okay. I'd be down to try that. I, I like the idea of having them on, like scheduling them for one or two hours because I don't want to dud for four hours. And sometimes they could. And be. you know how women are, these silly no, bitches. No, you know what it is, guys. Especially it's the sluts, right? <laughs> Here's my take. Like, if you grab someone from the YouTube or the Twitch universe, they probably have the gift of gab. If you grab someone from the OnlyFans universe, all we know for sure is that they're attractive. They, yeah, yeah, yeah that's even that iffy. Yeah, I mean, they gotta have the ring light set up, and if they're not diddling their bean, then how long can they really entertain us men? Am I right, boys? Oh, well, she's into that's men, what we're just men, oh, men, 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 men. Oh, Reacher, <laughs> white men, white men. <laughs> oh, whoa, it ain't men. Or, no. or people who identify no, as let's men. get specific, Harley. <laughs> what? <laughs> Training white men. Um, oh, Kyle. Slowly Land owning. What? I, I will say I was having a hard time not laughing at Josh about that, that nonsense. That, that the Pilates? Yeah. Like, come on. Come on. No, Pilates is fine. It depends on what your goals. Yeah, are. that whole machine he wanted to be yanking on and and stuff with the water thing and 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 look, come on. Yeah, I mean, stretch. Come on, stretch. youngest looking fifty two year old I've ever seen in my life. Oh, the Pilates did that that he started like last month. How long has he been? No, doing it Pilates? seems like it's the he fucking does drugs. Look good. I actually, <laughs> so I was I was telling my friend that he was our guest tonight. I was kind of excited, and I googled him, and he has shirtless pictures on the internet, and it's like fuck, he he's fit. He looks I good. Did. He's Pilates, is a, Pilates is a, isn't it a girl? Th isn't it like girl fitness? Like, like, like that. That's I really. Okay, thought, I do like, think that. Having said that, I like a lot of girl shit. So yeah, pussy. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I, I guess I was just thinking, they're fucking shoes. Every time I'm in like the girl section of REI, like, 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 this, this is my jam. This this is my jam. <laughs> Whoa, were those right. Taylor Swift Velcros? <laughs> 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 I guess I just don't know anything about Pilates. It seems real fucking stupid to me. Even like, like, why can't yeah, you you're making an me? ass of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know what they are. I try to get uh, people to explain it. Oh, uh, he they... couldn't even explain it. It's like you asked him what a producer does. He was like, "Well, you uh, well, show that weird machine with someone doing a scorpion tail with a pulley on their foot." <laughs> yeah, that's Pilates. Well, but not really though. And it's like, well, what the fuck do you do, bro? So, so it's if like you really ask me what jujitsu was, I could tell you in a heartbeat. Like, like, like I could, I could, I could lay it out for you. 
Yeah, it's a I, kind of fight. I've actually and, been and you kept asking, that. do you go to a class or their people's or an instructor? It just go with the flow, bruh. And <laughs> it's like, what example. is Pilates? You're thinking Ferrari, and you should be thinking <laughs> like you're kidding. <laughs> like, oh, there's my problem. You're I'm thinking yoga, you gotta think Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I remembered uh the the stupid treadmill like mom thing I was gonna say when I was like 15. I was playing 15, 16 years old. I was playing so much competitive hockey. I was active every single day. And when I was home, like I was like, wasn't like sitting playing video games very much. I was playing COD 4 a little bit. It had just come out in 2007 when I was 16, but not that much. Mostly I was very active. And my mom, and to a lesser extent, my dad made me feel like I was a little like fat that summer. And we're like, you need to use, we're going to make you go on the treadmill every day for like a certain amount of time. And it was like, like I'm going to fucking like hockey practice all the time. Like I was, it was incredibly active. The probably the most like activity I could have ever done in my life. I was constantly doing it from like 15 to 18. I was in great shape. And I remember I would go in the basement where the treadmill was in the first couple of days. Like I ran and did it and I would, I like leave and my mom would be like, how much did you run? And I'd like say the amount, like distance or whatever. And so like after the first few days, I'm like, this is fucking bullshit. Like I'm, I'm so active all the time. <laughs> and so what I would do, I would go in there, I'd bring a bottle of water and I would turn on the treadmill as fast as it would go. And I would turn on the TV to something and I would stand on the sides of the treadmill wow. as the distance was going by. And then before I went out, I'd pour some on my head on my shirt and go out and be like, man, what a, what a, what a run mom and dad. <laughs> and so I did that. And they like, by the end of the summer, we're like, we're, we could tell, we could tell a difference. And it's like, yeah, that's the fucking three hockey teams I'm on right now. <laughs> that's definitely not, that's the three on three. If what do you know? Like, you know, hockey, you know, three on three. Sure. That's where you segment the ice, Kyle. You imagine the full facing you. That's the rink, my hands, like kind of the rink facing you flat yeah. side up. There's a line here and here that okay. segments that rink into gotcha. three portions there and there. And so yep. you can have three games going laterally, horizontally on the ice, and it's three on three. And there's still okay. two goalies and everything. And what it means is that goalies get absolutely shelled. I In a three-on-three -three game, I had 122 saves once. Because that's how exhausting it is. Because it's like, oh, they got the puck in the shooting. And it was, I was doing that constantly. I was like leaving so sweaty. And like, it's only like now that I'm saying all this out loud. 30 feet apart. Yeah, like, you, exactly. You and like, like, get it, shoot that way. Get it, shoot that way. And, and there's no hitting for the players because there's no boards on one side. And so like, they're just loosey goosey passing, setting up plays. And it's just like a training regimen for goalies. And I was doing that fucking constantly at the time. And so like looking back now, I'm realizing like, yeah, that was absolute bullshit. I was in tremendous shape when I was in my mid teens playing so much hockey. That was fucked up of them to make me think I was so fat. I had to run on a treadmill. I thought I was, I, was I won the skating competitions with my team. I was the best skater on the team. It's often said the goalie's the best skater on the team when they would, you know, get punished and be like, you know, hey, good Taylor, you're part of the team too. We're skating, bag skating. Obviously, going forward, I was not good compared to the players because we're going forward. Going backward as a goalie, that's my fucking jam. I know the exact crescents to cut. Mm -hmm. Like I was great at that. And like that was that was such trash. I'm gonna talk to my mom in heaven about that and my dad next time I see him. You, that was bullshit. I was not that fat. Explain to your mom that even if you were getting chubby, that the treadmill is not really where it's at. The kitchen is. His mom. Yes. You're responsible for this. It, it, if you want me to cut weight, it's done in the kitchen, not the gym. That's true. The amount of pork I was served as a teenager was outrageous. <laughs> like that's just like it's it's a like you know how every region has like their own like kind of shitty food that everybody likes, and they're all like, oh, it's yeah, it's crappy and yeah. shitty, but it's good. Uh -huh. Pork steak is that in St. Louis? It's just the cheapest fucking pork meat you can imagine and it was because it was st louis used to be a very low income all around city and so they get these cheap ass cuts of meat and you have to literally like saute it in in sauce so it doesn't dry out because it's inedible because it's already so dry and i remember like having those twice a week and even at the time being like you know this isn't this isn't real steak like is this <laughs> is this is this good now for me I'm fitness oriented 
I say well, that looks really good. Those are I some very good looking Italian pork steaks. I though. say stupid, stupid shit like you know restaurants. All they care about is that the food tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> you know the Don't problem with restaurants. They're all about the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, the fucking restaurants. They just want their food to taste good. Who, who could eat that? They need yeah. to be like low calorie and not salted, no butter and all that nonsense. No, restaurants don't focus oh, yeah. on that at all. Mm -hmm. 